Hey, Robert here with Zenfolio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the DNS settings of your custom domain to work for Zenfolio. Now, if your domain is hosted through GoDaddy, there's actually a pretty easy way to do this using GoDaddy's API key. And there's a link to a video that should be popping up somewhere on your screen right now. I would recommend that you go watch that video and follow those steps. Now, if you're not sure where your custom domain is registered, keep watching the video. I'm going to show you how to figure that out as well as what settings you need to update. So to get started in your Zenfolio account, click the update now button in the notification banner. Now, if you're not sure where you registered your custom domain, you can use the lookup tool on this page to find out. Just click on the link, enter your website address, and then hit lookup. Then scroll down until you see it register our information. Now you will need to be able to log into your domain registrar. So if you're not sure how to do that, I recommend pausing this video, go gathering that information, and then coming back and finishing this video once you're actually logged into your domain registrar account. Now back in Zenfolio, we have a couple of options here. Again, if GoDaddy is where you registered your domain, there's an easier way to do this. Please make sure that you watch that video. You should see that link popping up on your screen. Now, if Zenfolio is not your main website and you only link to Zenfolio using a subdomain, I'm gonna show those settings a little later on in the video and you can check the timestamps in the description below to skip ahead. But first we're gonna go through the process of updating your DNS settings as if you were using Zenfolio for your main website. So go ahead and click that second option that says my domain is provided by another registrar. This will reveal a list of instructions and steps for you to follow. Now for visualization purposes, I'm gonna be showing you how to update and make these changes using my GoDaddy account. But just keep in mind that depending on which company you use to register your custom domain, these settings may look a little different and may even be called something different. So for questions related to that, I recommend reaching out to their support team. Okay, so hopefully you're logged into your domain registrar. And then the next thing that you need to do is navigate to where you can manage your DNS settings. Now I know I've said this before, but if you need to pause the video, Go ahead and do that now and then come back and continue following the steps. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look for an A record with the value of 64.62.158.18. Now we're gonna need to modify that A record. If your domain registrar doesn't allow you to edit records, you might have to delete this one and create a new one. So Go ahead and click your edit icon next to that record when you find it. And then you're gonna change the points to value. You're gonna go ahead and clear out what's in there and then change that to be 199.181.197.11. Now again, if your domain registrar does not allow you to modify records, then you'll need to delete that record and create a new one using these settings. Once you're finished, go ahead and click save. Next, we're gonna modify the C name, or it might be called subdomain in your registrar. So what you're looking for is something that points to custom.zenfolio.com, and in most cases, that subdomain of that C name is gonna be www. So go ahead and click that modify button, and then you wanna change that from pointing to custom.zenfolio.com to pointing to custom dot zenfolio site dot com and then click save next we're going to create a new a record so in godaddy i'm going to click add and then for the record type i'm going to select a now when i create this the host is going to be the at symbol so i'm just going to click in there and type the at symbol and then this record is going to point to one nine nine dot one eight one dot 197.12. Once you have that typed out, go ahead and click save. Now we're going to create two quad A records. Now there is a small chance that your domain registrar might not allow you to create these records. And if that's the case, you'll need to reach out to the support team for help with that. So go ahead and click add. And then under the record type, you're looking for the record that has four capital letter A's. Just like the previous A record that we created, you're gonna type the at symbol in the host section, 
And then in the points to section, you're going to type in two, six, two, zero, colon, seven, eight, colon, two, zero, zero, F, colon, colon, C, F, colon, 11. Go ahead and click save. And then we're going to create one more quad A record. So go back to add, select the quad A record. You're going to set the host to be the at symbol. And then in the points to section, you're going to write two, six, two, zero, colon, seven, eight, colon, two, zero, zero, F, colon, colon, CF, colon, one, two. Once you've got that typed out, go ahead and click save. Back in Zenfolio, scroll down and click Test DNS Setup. Now, if you see any kind of errors here, I recommend waiting an hour and then clicking that Test DNS Setup button again. Once everything is good, click Apply Changes. Now, if it's been an hour and you're still seeing errors, please feel free to reach out to the support team. They are more than happy to help you with this. Also, just keep in mind that it can take up to 24 hours for the domain to take effect. Now, if it's been longer than that 24 hours and you're still seeing issues with your domain, please reach out to the support team. Now, if you're only using a subdomain to point to your Zenfolio account, then you're gonna click on the third option. Then you need to get logged into your domain registrar, navigate to where you can modify your records, and then you're gonna update your CNAME. Now again, for visualization purposes, I'm showing you how to do this in my GoDaddy account. Keep in mind that depending on which company you use to register your domain, these settings could look different and even be called something different. And for questions regarding that, please reach out to their support team. Now in your domain registrar account, we're gonna look for a CNAME record that points to or has a value of custom.zenfolio.com. We're going to modify that record to point to custom.zenfoliosite.com. One thing to keep in mind is that your domain registrar may not allow you to modify an existing record. You may have to delete that record and create a new one. And if that's the case, just delete that old CNAME record and then create a new one using the settings shown here. Once you've got it set up, click save. Back in Zenfolio, scroll down and click Test DNS Setup. Now, if you see any kind of errors here, I recommend waiting an hour and then clicking that Test DNS Setup button again. Once everything is good, click Apply Changes. Now, if it's been an hour and you're still seeing errors, please feel free to reach out to the support team. They are more than happy to help you with this. Also, just keep in mind that it can take up to 24 hours for the domain to take effect. Now, if it's been longer than that 24 hours and you're still seeing issues with your domain, please reach out to the support team.